Oh, got a little drool. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna. That's what moms are for. If you follow me, baby. not already subscribed to the channel please subscribe now click the like button thank you so much for being a part of this sh channel i really appreciate you look at that head control look at it you know it you know it average size parents out there are like yeah she's five months but if you're a little person parent you understand head control that's some real head control yeah yes it is Yes, it is. Hi. Hi. You got the drools because you're teething? Yeah. You got the drools. Is that you? Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself or do you see a baby? Is that a cute baby with a bow on her head? Mm, that is good. Grade A fingers. Look at that chunk. She is not as flexible as Penny. Most acons, they have very lax, laxtivity, is that a word? In their legs, she is not very laxtivity-like. However, I do know she's acon. You can just tell as an acon, you can tell looking at her that she's acon but she has a lot of things that don't measure up to Akon status. We're hitting average size milestones, which is kind of cool. Cool. Up, up, up. Do you want milk? Yeah, milk. Oh, yeah. All right, here's another update. She is five months. She's now holding her bottle on her own. <laughs> what, 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 what? Yes, it's not foolproof just yet, but she's doing a pretty good job at it. Yeah. She's in Zoom classes with me every day with the kids, and she's actually like paying attention to the teachers, no matter if it's Grayson's teacher or Penelope's teacher. It's pretty awesome. She wants to jump all the time. Jump, jump. She's like, look at those rolls. She's got more rolls than a baker. Jump, jump. This is how my mom builds her biceps, triceps. She wants to like stand all the time and tries to. She's very active. She's always swatting at the world. You swatting? Get your swat on, get your swat on, yeah, yeah. Another update with Magnolia is, girl, you can't just swing back like that. Mm-mm, can't do it. Yeah, hey, squirmy. Um, Grayson and her still have this extremely close bond. Jess, the two of you are like this. Y'all are like peanut butter and jelly. You're the jelly, he's the peanut butter. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all have experienced this, but Penelope no longer likes a lot of foods that she used to like. And Grayson now likes a lot of foods that he used to not like. So what do I do? How do I get Penelope to like more foods? But like peanut butter and jelly, that's one of them. She used to love it, now she doesn't. And that's like peanut butter and jelly. I mean, delicious. Maybe she's more of an almond butter kind of girl, you know what I mean? Another really amazing thing that I'm very proud of myself, by this time I was supplementing with Penelope. By this time I had completely stopped 
with Grayson. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about breast milk. I am still giving her 100% breast milk. I'm probably gonna have to start supplementing and giving her additional formula this month. Don't look at me like that, I'm really trying. I'm pumping almost every hour and a half, trying to build up my supply, but she downs it like it's water and it's killing my, my, my world because I want so badly to just solely give her breast milk for one full year, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to just solely give you breast milk because I want all the nutrients and I don't want you to be, you know, not happy with your mom because she's not feeding you. Especially at night, at night she can down a lot. That's like her comfort to going to sleep nowadays. And the, the moment, the moment that she realized that bottles are easier than breasts, she kind of gave up on my breast. And it's like, do I fight her and shove a boob in her mouth? Or do I just accept it? What's happening? Yeah? Doing a lot of good stuff. You're turning five months. You're five months today. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Five months, such a big girl. Yeah? And you're usually super chatty. But right now you're pretty quiet. And another update on Magnolia is she's sleeping through the night, which is an amazing update. She will do an occasional, I'd say like three times this week. She woke up at around 3 a.m. and was like, yo, I might need a little sip of that bottle. But after that, she's good and we're getting there. We're almost like foolproof. Oh yeah. Ba 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 ba. Ma 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 ma. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Officially, I would say that <coughs> that Penelope's first word was dada. To give me chicken neck. It's a no no. Girls don't like those chicken necks. And I would say officially Grayson's first word was more. More, more, more. What's gonna be her first word? What's gonna be your first word? It's it gonna be mama. I'm gonna really try for it. Mama, mama, mama. If you have toddlers, do you find yourself singing all the time, making up random songs? That's what I find myself doing. Making up random songs that go along with the baby. Oh, look at that. Well, you look at that. One thing acons have are the tridents in their hands. And to show that Miss Thang, if you will sh let me show them, like I said, she's very squirmy, which is good because she wants to move around. Oh, another huge update. I forgot to tell them. Oh wait, I'm gonna go back to the trident. Um, so the trident in her hand, okay, that's a bad example. Oh, finger going in the mouth. This one, this one I'll show you. Finger going in, won't show you right now. But basically, this is a trident. Not all little people have it, but it's a sign of achondroplasia. Yeah, it comes, comes with us. Um, one of the coolest things that she's doing, let's tell them, all right? Are you ready? We'll tell you. She is rolling over completely. We're finally at the stage. She's hitting average size milestones, which I'm very happy about. Rolling over completely. She's still not sitting up on her own, 
but just like, but like solely on her own, that is. But this is total Acon. So average size people, when they're sitting down, their arms can reach their bum. And, as you, and they kind of brace themselves, the kids do at least. Let me see, I can show you. So as a little person, her arms don't reach here. So she has nothing to really brace herself with. So when she lets go, it's basically falling and hoping that she can, you know, put enough pressure, but then she has the weight of the head carrying her over. So that's probably gonna take us a little bit longer. But like I said, she's able to hold her head strongly on her own because she's Wonder Woman, Wonder Baby, yeah. Yeah, Wonder Baby. But that roll, she's got that roll down. And I hope you're enjoying these interesting, different, weird angle vlogs. All for now. Bye. You're a big girl. You're bigger than the bear now. Yeah. Yeah.